Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. And I want to share something that is truly on my heart. That I will always stand for very, very strongly. So let's talk about it. And it's about women and wives submitting to their husbands. It seems like a big topic. And I didn't know that women nowadays have a big problem with this scripture. So recently when I have started sharing my views on this, I am being looked at with big eyes because it does seem like I am a very small number of women who still believes that women are to submit to a man, to her husband, not to any man. But let's read the scripture and see what the Bible talks about it. Now, in Ephesians 5, 22, we read, Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. But if we go a little further down and we read in Ephesians 5, 25, it says, Husbands, love your wives as just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Now, let's open it up. As women, we would often say that we have no problems submitting to God, submitting to God's plan, submitting to God's guidance, whatever it is that he wants for us, for our lives, right? But somehow we have problems submitting to our husbands. Now, Let's have a look at what type of husband we can and should be submitting to. The Bible says, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loves the church and is willing to sacrifice himself up for her. So you are not to first of all submit to any man. You are to submit to a husband who, first of all, submits to the Lord himself. Because if your husband submits to the Lord and you don't have problems submitting to God and his will for your life, you are aligned, right? And if you have a husband who loves you like Christ loves the church and is willing to sacrifice for you, that's mutual submission. But it's also a husband that I don't think we should have issues submitting to. If your husband is leading you, guiding you, and his number one is God, and relationship with God, and him, guiding you, guiding your family by what he is hearing from the Lord, I don't think we should have issues submitting to a man like that. And I truly believe the issue comes in where women nowadays step into a masculine energy. Why do women step into masculine energy? Because they get around with men who are in their feminine energy. So that means they step back, they don't take charge, they don't lead, they don't submit to God. And so naturally, as women, we would go and step into that masculine energy. But let me tell you, it's an exhausting place to be for a woman. It's an exhausting. It's not a place where 
we are to be. Because to be a leader and a provider and a protector, the men that we are to be with, it's exhausting. And then we are also to raise our children. As a woman, you would collapse trying to do it all because the role of a leader is an exhausting role too. And I don't think we often appreciate the role of a husband. Another thing we also need to learn is to obviously recognize who are we to be with. Because if you step into that masculine role, if you are with a man who does not respect you, you will never be able to respect him either. So all those issues come when we go and get into relationships with men who are not true men of God, who don't lead us, who don't seek the Lord, who don't love us and don't respect us. And obviously, if we are in a relationship like it, we are going to struggle to submit. So we need to learn to recognize and see if a man that we are with is fully a man of God. And is he leading us if he's submitting to God? We oft we also both come with different gifts and abilities. And it's not just that the husband is now to make full decisions on everything and never communicate with you. You are to do this together. This is marriage. This is mutual respect. This is mutual contribution. You are to pour into each other and love each other and respect each other. And so obviously if you are with someone who doesn't reciprocate what you are willing to give and what you have to offer, you say no to a relationship like it. Because sooner or later, that relationship will hurt you. So choose wisely. Choose wisely. And watch. Watch his fruits of the Spirit. Is he actually and really walking with God? Is he walking and submitting to the Lord? Because if he does, and if he is truly living the life with God, and I'm not talking about perfect men, because none of us are perfect, but if you find a man like this, let me tell you, you would want to submit to him. And you should very much submit to a man like that. Be